now we are going to start case study question number three and this question is based on uh, light chapter okay so Sumati wanted to see the stars of the night sky she knows that she needs a telescope to see those distant stars she find out that the telescopes which are made of lenses are called refracting telescopes and the ones which are made of mirrors uh, are called reflecting uh, telescopes uh, so she decided to make a refracting telescope listen refracting okay she bought two lenses l1 and l2 out of which l1 was bigger and l2 was smaller the larger lens gathers and bends the light while the smaller lens magnifies the image it is given the clue is given here I am underlining the clue. The larger lens gathers and bends the light. Okay. And the smaller lens magnifies the image. Big thick lenses are more powerful. So to see far away, she needed a big powerful lenses. Unfortunately, she realized that a big lens is very heavy. Heavy lenses are hard to make and difficult to hold in the right place. Also, since the light is passing through the lens, the surface of the lens has to be extremely smooth. Any flaws in the lens will change the image. It would be like looking through a dirty window. So this is the context given and uh, the diagram is also given, telescope diagram. Okay. So based on this diagram shown, what kind of lenses would Sumati need to make the telescope? already the lens structure it is given and you can identify that uh, by seeing also which type of lenses are this convex lens right right, right. very good convex lenses okay because concave lens to is shape ka hota hai na? so we have to uh, question mein they can identify kar sakte ho. right now we'll see the second question if the powers of the lenses l1 and l2 are in the ratio uh, 4 is to 1 what would be the ratio of the focal length of L1 and L2? So we have one formula that P is equals to 1 upon F. Okay, P is equals to 1 upon F, uh, where uh, uh, the unit of P is diopter and diopter and uh, the unit of F is in, in centimeter or meter. The unit of F. In meter. Right, very good, in meter. So if we apply let the power of lens l1 is p1 and focal length is f1 and the power of l2 is p2 and the focal length is f2 so we have this one p1 is equals to 1 upon f1 and p2 is equals to 1 upon f2 and the power the ratio of the power is given 4 is to 1 that means p1 upon p2 so we'll substitute these two here and here uh, the reciprocal of this one, ये उल्टा हो जाएगा, F2 ऊपर चला जाएगा और F1 नीचे आ जाएगा. So we are getting F2 by F1 is equals to 4 by 1. But we have to find the ratio of F1 and F2. So F1 by F2 कितना हो जाएगा? One, one by, by four. four. Right, one by four. So the correct ratio is one is to four. And which is the correct option? B. B. Right. Now we'll move towards the third question. What is the formula for magnification obtained with the lens? So we will re recollect. The formula is uh, uh, H dash by H. Okay. And it is equals to minus V by U in case of mirror. And in case of uh, lens, it is uh, V by U. And uh, H1 by H2 bhi likha hua hai. Toh, ye height of image hai. Aur ye height of object hai. Right? So, we will see the question now. So, this is the formula what uh, we have in uh, lenses. The ratio of height of image to the height of object. Double the focal length. Inverse of the radius of curvature. Inverse of the object distance. So, which one is the correct one? Option A. Option A. Yeah. Right. The ratio of height of image. Wala, to the ratio uh, to the height of object. Okay.
Now we'll see the fourth question. Sumati did some preliminary ex experiment with the lenses and found out that the magnification of eyepiece is 3. Magnification means M. Okay. If in her experiment with lens L2, she found an image at 24 centimeter from the lens. At what distance she uh, did she put the object? That means V is given and U we have to find and M is given. So we have formula M is equals to V by U, right? So here M is equals to 3 is given and V is equals to 24 and uh, U is equals to uh, U we have to find. Now, so which formula we have used? We have to use v, U, v by U. Now substitute all the values. 3 is equals to 24 upon U. Ye dono ko interchange karo. So you will get U is equals to 24 by 3. And we'll get eight. Right, eight. Right. So actually, uh, par, uh, u ka jo value hai, wo hamesha negative hota hai. Malum hai? The value of u is always negative. And here it is not given that ki whether it is uh, plus or minus. Only magnification is given three. How will you? Uh, um, explain this part. The magnification is 3, is, it is given. And we are using convex uh, lens. Convex lens may have a real image or virtual image. Do you know? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Right. So it can be plus minus. So here, magnification is 3 is given. So, here we that it is virtual and real. Hai. So, I am taking it at, as m is equals to plus minus 3. Okay. So, see here, m is equals to plus 3 means it is virtual image. And virtual image ke liye v is negative. Hota hai. Right. So, v is equals to minus 24. And similarly, if we, I am going to take m is equals to minus, 20, minus 3. And uh, the v will be. Uh, plus 24 because the real image ke liye uh, v positive hota hai. Take a right side we will uh, Okay, so real image hum logo right side we will uh, lens mein that is positive and virtual image left side we will that is negative. So if we use this formula m is equals to v by u, v by u. Okay, and uh, so we are getting plus 3 is equals to minus 24 upon u okay so u is equals to minus 8 centimeter yaha pe answer aa hai. so uh, this is when we write in terms of u if you solve here also you will get u is equals to minus 8 but while writing in the statement we never used to write minus 8 centimeter so here it is written that at what distance uh, did she put the object so she put the object at a distance of 8 centimeter from the lens whether this is clear? Yes, sir. Okay, fine. So now the fifth question. Sumati bought not so thick lenses for the telescope and polished them. What advantages, if any, would she have with her choice of lenses? So, first of all, not so thin lenses would not make the telescope very heavy. Otherwise, what will happen if you use a thicker lens? So, uh, telescope will become very heavy and uh, it will not allow the, um, the considerable amount of light to pass through it. So, if you use non, not so thick lenses, then only it will, the telescope will um, uh, become very uh, um, less heavy, means light will, uh, light weight will be there and also it allow considerable amount of light to pass through it. So, the correct option is the C1. Okay, so now we'll move toward the next uh, case study questions in the next one. We'll look next case study question next. So thank you, thank you very much.